my name is Joanne and welcome to today's Hala cast. Today we're in the Parsha Yitro and it's a very exciting Parsha where the Jewish people, the children of Israel, receive the Ten Commandments. So we have the dramatic scene with the thunder and the quaking and the uh, voice of the Lord giving his Ten Words, which they're known as in Hebrew, the Ten Words or the Ten Commandments. So I have had some requests from my viewers to show a little bit more of Hala and talk a little bit less. So on this one, I'm going to try to do that. For today, because of, we're reading about the Ten Commandments, we're going to make two hala of five strands each to make uh, ten strands on our Shabbat hala on our Shabbat table tonight. So the let the hala portion of the video today of the upload today, uh, as you know, we we talk a little bit about Torah and we talk a little bit about hala. I have a special viewer uh, who ha has requested more hala making on this week's. So what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be making, uh, I'm going to teach you how to make a five strand hala. So again, that's five strands and five strands. So we will have uh, 10 strands for the, each of the 10 commandments. The first one is that I am the Lord, your God. So the other ones all come from that. So if you, you see just the, I like to think of it also in terms of the hala. When we make this hala, if you see the dough, it's just one dough. It's the all commands come from this one command, which is to love, which is I am the Lord, your God. So once we have that command, I am the Lord, your God, you shall, and then you shall have no other gods before me. It's all there in that command and it, that I am the Lord. So they all come from that one dough in, in effect from that one from that one uh amazing reverential knowing that he is god and from that we can do all the others knowing that these are what he asks of us so let's start rolling it out so we're going to roll out the strands you see look at how nice these are rolling i had put the dough in the refrigerator so we're going to get a nice can you see that the consistency came out very nice i really i do recommend that if you are able to time it that you can prepare the dough a little bit early in the day and then you divide it into the measured pieces. You, you see I have the measured pieces uh, already measured and you put those in the refrigerator for a little bit and it gives you a nice, very nice, today we're having a nice, you see I have no, there's no flour on the table here, nothing, no flour. Uh, I'm not even, well I could probably put a little flour, I could probably, you know what, I'm talking to too much, but I could probably put a little flour on my hands. I'll put a little flour on my hands. Um, and what happens is you want to work a little quickly, but as you see, as I mentioned, you don't, you don't even need flour if you get the dough to a nice consistency. That is ideal uh, when you're rolling them out. And uh, so here's three, you, could, you know, you could sort of work out the gluten a little like that. So you just want to roll out your five. There you have five, and I'm just gonna, because it's already risen a lot, I don't wanna really have it out too long, because if it's out in a warm room, it's gonna start rising again, you're gonna lose some of the nice elasticity. So I actually, while they rest, I actually put them in the refrigerator. Uh, I'm just gonna put this in the refrigerator and do the next five. Get them all to a uniform size. A little taper on the end, which is just, you take a little uh, on the end so that when you braid it, that's where you would attach it and that's where you would finish it. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Let's see for the ends on this one, five. And then we'll get our other five from the refrigerator. So if anyone's just joining in today on our Halakayast uh, for Parsha Yitro, we are learning how to make a five braided hala. And so we're in Exodus, the book of Exodus, and our Parsha is Parsha Yitro. And now is this amazing time where uh, the um, <laughs> children of Israel prepare to receive the commandments at Mount Sinai. 
and we have the uh, thundering. It was the third day as morning dawned, there was thunder and lightning, a dense cloud over the mountain and a very loud blast of the horn. And the Lord came down upon Mount Sinai on the top of the mountain and the Lord called to Moses. And as we know, the God spoke uh, these words and he said, so let's go over the 10, we have the 10 strands now. Uh, we're gonna be making uh, two challahs of five strands each to commemorate this uh, Shabbat of Parsha Yitro to commemorate the giving of the 10 commandments. We'll have the two loaves. Uh, five strands each on this week's Shabbat. So we have, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods besides me. So I am the Lord your God. You shall have no other gods besides me. You shall not take my name in vain. That's the third one. And as we know, the fourth commandment, uh, which we talk about a lot on our holocaust, is the commandment of the Shabbat of the Sabbath. And I find that's really, even reading it over and over again, isn't that amazing? After uh, God saying, he is the only God, he's the only one God, you shall know the gods before me, you shall not take my name in vain. And then the next commandment is to honor and observe the Sabbath. This is a really up there um, in, our, in, our, uh, in the heart of God, the, the, the commandment of the Sabbath, which we've actually been seeing since the creation. It was put in place at the creation and then it was given again with the manna uh, in the desert, uh, the first thing when they were set free, and then the very, in this very, uh, this time of giving God's, God giving his law to the people, the commandment of the Shabbat was number four. So let's, um, so we have that commandment of observing the Shabbat and uh, as the fourth commandment, five as we know is honoring your mother and father. So it's said that the first four are really, um, the first, Four, four are about uh, God and honoring God and his ways. Then we have the kind of bridge, which is honoring the father and mother, which reflects our relationship with God. And then from there, if the other five are all about loving our neighbor, uh, how to behave with our neighbors. So as Yeshua said, the most, the two most important commandments are the, when someone asked him, he said to love the Lord your God and to love your neighbor as yourself. So we can see how those are all reflected in these two. So the fourth, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Remember, we say that every week when we read the uh, Friday night Kiddush, Kiddush, we say remember and keep this, remember, and then later in Deuteronomy we'll, we'll say the command uh, is worded differently, keep the Sabbath, but, and the first time it's given it's remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but on the seventh is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. You shall not do any work. And then we read about the creation, for in six days the Lord made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in them, and he rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the seventh day and hallowed it. Okay, then we, as we mentioned, then we have honor thy mother and father, and then thou shalt not murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor, and thou shalt not covet anything from thy neighbor's house. So we're going to put those all together when we make our two hollows from now, and let's see how to braid them into a two, five strand hala for the Shabbat of Parsha Yitro. First, we want to attach the tops. Attach. We, we, we tapered the end nicely at the top, so we want to attach the tops and have five of them. You can do them one by one, but I'm going to do them to get today. I'm going to do two. Okay. So I have the, uh, them attached. Can you see? I have them attached at the top five and five. So now let's proceed to braid our five so strands. What we want to do is we want to separate. Can you see here? We're going to separate. We're going to put three strands like this. So move three strands over to one side and then you're going to have two strands on this side. So we have three. Okay. So you're gonna have three strands and two strands uh, on one side. And then what you're gonna do, it's actually very, the five is actually much simpler than the six, and it's actually quite simple. We take the outside of the three and move it into the center. Now we have three on this side and two on this side, so we're just gonna do the same thing. We take the outer, we take the outside of the three and move it to the center. And now again, we have three strands on this side and two on this side. So we're gonna take, so we take the outer, outer of the three and move it into the center. And now we have two on this side and three on this side. And we're just gonna keep on going. Outer of the three and into the center. Now we have three here, outer of the three and into the center. Outer of the three and into the center. Outer of the three and into the center. Okay, so we just keep moving it that way. Outer of the three and into the center. Outer of the three and into the center. 
out of the three and into the center. How's that? Okay, so uh, we have a very nice braided, beautiful braided hala now. So, and actually, I don't even have to cut. I'm just going to do this to the end and just tuck it under a little. And again, just do this to the end and just uh, tuck it under a little. And then I started doing this one also as well on the outer. So we take the outer of the three into the center, the outer of the three and into the center, out of the three into the center, out of the three and into the center, outer of three and into the center. And again, you can just take the end like that and just roll it a little and tuck it under. And then you can just take the end here and we don't have to lose any of our hala with the complete five strands and the complete five strands are in each. Uh, then we can put the egg wash on them. We'll put an egg wash on them and we'll bake them and we'll get ready for tonight's Shabbat. And it's nice, isn't it? You can see a little bit how uh, the two loaves almost, they look like how we might imagine the, the tablets, the two tablets that Moses received from the Mount Sinai. So it's sort of nice when you see the, the, the two loaves like that, it could have the feeling of the two ta of the tablets and commandments as we just read, uh, as we just read out, sort of written within them. So it's, it's one, one idea that you can do for the Parsha Yitro, uh, especially if you're going to be making your hala with your children, it would be a wonderful way to uh, talk to them about the Ten Commandments. They would certainly remember them. Uh, if you uh, speak of them that way, you can ask your children questions and talk to them. And then at the dinner table too, you know, they would feel so happy after they have uh, put all that thought about God's commandments and loving God and God being the only God when you sit at your Shabbat table tonight. Imagine, you know, we're supposed to also be able to try to experience when we read this Parsha being there when we're receiving the Ten Commandments. So it's like on the holiday of Shavuot when we actually uh, celebrate the receiving of the Ten Commandments. So we can think about that this week too, like that we were actually there uh, receiving the commandments. And Moses says to the children of Israel, um, they were afraid and he said, don't be afraid, he said, but fear the Lord. So we, we've talked about that in other uploads as well about fearing the Lord. So that's a really wonderful, uh, important lesson Moses taught to the children and we, of Israel. And we want to teach that to our children um, and we want to uh, observe that ourselves, to live that way ourselves, that we would fear the Lord and, uh, of course, to not go astray, to... Uh, and then to joyfully follow out his commands, as we always also talk about, uh, it is such a joy to follow out his commands and to think about his heart as we enter into the Shabbat, think about the heart of God and this wonderful time, enter into this wonderful time that he invites us to spend with him. So again, God bless you everyone and I ask you to bless me and that um, God would help us to, to draw closer to him, to delight in, uh, in, in observing his commandments. Thank you for watching. God bless you and Shabbat Shalom.